Good morning and happy Sunday, everyone. You know, um, honestly, after, uh, you know, I legit needed a day like the one I had yesterday. Like, really and truly, I, I, I needed that day. I needed yesterday to happen. And, I mean, It'd be pretty simple to say that, like, my entire video yesterday, yesterday talking about, you know, my brother wishing him a happy birthday, telling him to love him that stuff, like, yeah, that's my act of kindness to be sure. But sometimes karma just has a way of, like, taking just a simple act of kindness that you do for someone, and a lot of good things wind up happening to you whether you make them happen on your own or not. And before I continue, I need to readjust the camera. That's better. Um, so, where do I even start? Well, I guess I could start with my low because, I mean, again, it rained. I mean, seriously, today's like the first day since probably like Tuesday morning, where like I haven't woken up to the sap to the sound to the sights and sounds of rain. I say sights because you know just look out the window, you know, you know like obviously see the ground is wet, so therefore it rained. And or you know sounds obviously the sound of rain, but also like cars driving by and you hear like the splashing sound that cars make when they drive by. So. Basically stuff like that. Um, let's see, where do I, uh, how do I continue this? Oh, well, and my high is just like literally everything great that happened. So everything great that happened yesterday. So how I get started with, um, honestly, I finally got around to completing a series of uh, posts that I was gonna add to the color list. Most recently, I added um, the sub shop in the Heights, uh, Harry's, also in the Heights, and Giuseppe's in Horseheads. But most importantly, well, actually they're all important in their own right, but the one I was saving for last was uh, the Dairy Barn. Not only did I go to the opening day for the Dairy Barn, I was the first cuss, I was the first order of the season. Yeah. I mean, when it rained like it did yesterday, and, you know, it's going to deter a lot of people from coming out, I mean, I kind of thought it was going to be that way, but I thought there would at least be one other person who who be there, be there before I was, outside of the people who actually worked there. But, no, I was, for all intents and purposes, the first order of the season. And it was a lot of fun. You know, I got to talk to um, the owner, you know, and they, 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 they asked him how the winter was, and... You know, she she offered condolences for um, you know, my grandmother passing on Wednesday, and you know, and you know, obviously it's to the so to the good folks at Dairy Barn, thank you. You know, you guys still got it. For those of you wondering, I got um my go-to order at the Dairy Barn is uh, the Elvis Sunday, which is a Sunday with uh, peanut butter and bananas on it. Also, uh, you know, whipped cream and nuts, and sometimes it's a cherry, sometimes it's not. I don't really care. But my, um, I mean, for those of you, I mean, peanut butter bananas, you think Elvis Presley. And yeah, that's where, that's one of the reasons why it was called the Elvis Sunday. But the owners of the dairy barn actually used to have a dog named Elvis. So they named the Sunday after him so, as, as well, I mean. So um, I actually remember Elvis. Elvis was a good boy. He was the best boy in some ways. Um... A very well behaved dog. I'm very sad that he, pa he passed it a couple of years ago, but um, they still keep his memory alive, which is good. And uh, I got my uh, Elvis Sunday with um, bourbon caramel pecan ice cream, which I mean, you got bourbon, caramel, peanut butter, bananas, pecans. I mean, come on, man. That's a Sunday that's a for sure win. Any day of the week. 
So um, we get to uh, later in the uh, early evening and we go to church and um, I went to dinner with my family and my nephews and uh, we actually went to Red Robin, which you know, we've been to Red Robin a couple times and Red Robin's pretty good. I mean, here's the thing, I've said this before, it'd be easy for me to add, you know, chain restaurants to the cutler list, but that list would be too long and I... and. With all due respect to any chain restaurants, because I do love a lot of chain restaurants, I really do. But I'm trying to keep it, you know, local supporting local. And that's why, you know, I'm keeping it to, again, places like the Dairy Barn, or Giuseppe's, or Harry's, or the Sub Shop, or Elbow Room, or Sorge's, like those places. You know, they are local. And, you know, yeah, shop small, shop local. <coughs> Excuse me. I might have come down a little bit something. So, as we went to Red Robin, I knew there was a, um, like a suede jazz concert going over at, to, going on over at uh, the Illegal Tap House. So I went there for a little while and it was, um, oh, I should probably tell you what I ordered at Red Robin. I got the, uh, Whiskey River Barbecue Burger at Red Robin with, uh, garlic fries. Listen, garlic might be one of, garlic just might be my favorite ingredient of all time, so when I see garlic anything, I'm gonna immediately gravitate towards it. You know what I mean? So, we got, so we got dinner, we spent some time over at Illegal for a little while, and um, some people who knew me there, you know, they heard about my grandmother, and they offered condolences as well, and thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. You know, it's greatly appreciated. Um, and the music was awesome, the, the, the dancing, you know, it, it, it was great. Um, yeah, it didn't, I mean, that a lot of fun. Honestly, going out and dancing to jazz music, that really, it hit the spot for me. Like, that's the sort of thing I needed to do, you know, to take my mind off of, you know, what's transpired over the last several days. Although, considering what's, what tomorrow is going to bring, it's going to be a huge shell shock. But, I mean, again, and I said this literally on um, Thursday, like, I knew what the, ri or was it Wednesday? Basically, I said, like, if I'm going to do videos every day, like, I know what the risks are. There's going to be a lot of really happy days. There's going to be a fair share of very sad days. And, uh, <laughs> no matter how much I'm going to try and keep my composure, I'm still going to feel the latter for sure tomorrow. But, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So after I went to Illegal, I hung out at Picks for a little bit. I was a little bit hungry, so uh, I got myself uh, the pickle fries and a Reuben. That's actually been my go-to lately. My go-to order at uh, Picks has been, um, Pickle fries and uh, a Reuben. I mean, I go to Picks to get uh, my pickle fix. I love I love the pickle fries over at Picks. They're awesome. And I mean, it's a Reuben. You know, it's it's one of America's most beloved sandwiches. And what I love about the Reuben at Picks is, you know, it's you know it's not pretentious. It's not, you know, it's, what's the word? Um, it, it's simple and it doesn't take much to make it great. You know, just get some pumpernickel bread, some good corn, some shredded corned beef and some cabbage over the Thousand Island and you're good. And then it came with uh, some chips too, so yeah, it was good. So, um. Shout out to the good folks over at Picks for a solid Reuben. And again, you know, pick fries. Which is ironic because Picks is named after, like, the owner. But, you know, they have pickle items on the menu. And the owner isn't the biggest fan of pickles. I mean, he certainly doesn't hate them enough. I mean, he couldn't absolutely hate them if he has an entire portion of the menu dedicated to pickles, obviously. But, you know, it's... It is what it is, and you know, I, I like pickles. I mean, here's the thing. It's so, and this is going to seem really funny coming from me, 
Like, if I ever go to something like Burger King or McDonald's for whatever reason, and I order like a burger, I actually don't have pickles on mine. For whatever reason, like, restaurant dill pickles always seem to be a little too overpowering for me. And I think that has to do with the fact that I make my own pickles every now and again. Like, once you make your own pickles, it's kind of hard to go back to, you know, the stuff you get from, again, like McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King. I mean, some restaurant pickles are solid, like pickles over five guys. Those are great. Um, the few times that I had a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, the pickles on that, they're awesome. So, again, it really is a matter of preference. Um, well, here's the thing, when it comes to something like a chicken sandwich, like the ones over like Chick-fil-A's or Popeye's, the pickles actually make that sandwich work. So, you know, it's sort of like a, a combination of um, elements coming together. And I actually just had a Popeye's chicken sandwich the other day. It was really good. I got the one with the bacon and Swiss on it too, because, I mean, come on. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get a Popeye's chicken sandwich, don't keep it simple. You know, yeah, I get bacon and Swiss cheese. If they ever had bacon and Swiss cheese, bacon and Swiss cheese is awesome. You know, I mean, I do like Swiss cheese, I do. Personally though, my go-to cheese of choice will always be cheddar. Or American cheese if it's on breakfast sandwiches or burgers. But, for the most part, I am a cheddar guy. But, you know, I like Swiss every now and again. And, you know, it, it's a solid combination and it works. So, actually, I, I think there was Swiss cheese on the room that I had last night. Or supposed to be. I don't know. Regardless, it's still a solid Reuben. You know, it's still it's still a pretty good sandwich overall, and you know it's probably gonna be my go-to for a good while. Um, then I came here, went to bed, and you know got dressed, and now here I am. I mean, yesterday was just a really solid day, and even now people are continuing to reach out to me. Some, in some cases, it's for the posts I made about places like, you know, Harry's or the Sub Shop or, you know, um, Giuseppe's. And others, obviously, for my grandma. And, like, again, showing, just showing support, just saying you're sorry for someone's loss. It really does sound like, it really doesn't sound anything more than just a simple act of kindness. But a simple act of kindness like that really does go a long way. So, needless to say, I greatly appreciate it. Um, so, at the moment, I'm just sort of taking it, you know, one day, one hour at a time. I mean, again, losing my grandma, it's... Emotionally, it's been tough for me. I mean, I don't want to sound like a, I don't want to sound heartless. I haven't just simply gotten to my knees and just add my hands over and cry. I haven't done that. But, you know, I mean, you don't necessarily need to cry in order to feel sad, you know. That's like the misconception. It's perfectly okay to feel sad. It's perfectly okay to cry. And it's perfectly okay to, to be sad and cry. But you don't need to do, you know, both to prove your point. You know, sometimes you can cry because you're happy. Sometimes you can feel sad, but you don't wind up crying. You know, that's like the mis... I think, like, that's the ultimate misconception when it comes to... what. See, one of my biggest pet peeves ever is making fun of someone for crying. That it actually happened to me once. Even though I actually wasn't. By the way, like, that's not me being bitter. Like, I really was not crying in the moment that I was being made fun of for it. See, what happened was, um, uh, one of my wrestling teammates, like, put my head in a chokehold. And I don't know if you know how human anatomy works, but when you put someone in a chokehold, your face is going to turn, like, red a little bit. So when he let go, and someone was recording the entire thing, right? And, yeah, the fact that someone was recording, I think you know where this is going. 
And so you see my face is all red. And then he promoted as I was crying. I mean, it had an attorney volume in case you're wondering. I've told this story a few times in the past. Of all of my brothers in Trinity Pauling, the person who was actually recording recording it and then promoted as me crying. He's the one person I actually haven't forgiven yet. Seriously, like, I've talked about like, the worst person I ever knew at Trinity Pauling. And it took me 10 years, I wound up forgiving him. You'd think it'd be a lot easier to forgive someone for, you know, recording you and then like, making it seem as though like you're crying in the video. But it was because of being made fun of for crying that, you know, I came up with, I guess, a bit of my, um, my code of honor, if you will, that I will never make fun of anyone for crying. Ever. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have seen some cases where my pet peeve has been turned around so it works and it's funny. That, that's actually why Dennis Leary is one of my all-time favorite comedians. Because he actually took that pet peeve I just said I had and he actually made it work. Plus, in case you're wondering, what if it didn't work? Well, I chose to watch Dennis Leary. If I didn't like the joke he said, that's on me. I mean, listen, there's a lot of people and celebrities I look up to, sure. I don't agree with absolutely everything they say and do. Don't gotta do that. I mean, there's a lot of people that I'm friends with that don't agree with what I say sometimes. That doesn't make me upset. That doesn't make me mad. You know, you're welcome to have your own opinion. I'm not gonna judge you. And it's certainly not anything to get upset over. So, yeah. Honestly, that's why doing these videos has always been like so rewarding for me. Because Obviously, I get to, obviously, it provides a platform for me to express myself. But also, I wind up learning things I don't think I would have learned otherwise. I mean, frankly, I learned self-love doing these videos. So, well, it was well, not well, more than doing these videos, but also, you know, going out there and putting myself out there and seeing people. And that sort of rewarding experience you get, so. And, again, my life, I would never say my life is perfect, I don't know. But, I can tell you that I've come a whole lot farther than where I was when I first started one January 1st, 2018. There's been some good, to be sure. Definitely also some bad. I mean, my grandma passing is an indication. But, it never changed who I was. I was still the person who went from holding his camera up like this, sitting in his desk chair, back when he lived with his parents. And now, I live in an apartment building. And it's simple. And it isn't extravagant. But... It works, and I have very few complaints of any. I hope you liked this video. If you did like and subscribe to YouTube channel, I'm on social media. As always, I'm very humble in this video. For all of you guys watching, Jordan and Abel, we have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Did I say happy Sunday? Oh, happy Sunday, folks. And remember, if you guys want to talk to channel, we're here to let me know. I'll be right back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.